Guys, I'm super excited because today I'm gonna talk about another way to earn passive income with blockchain. And you know, if you've been watching this channel at all recently, you know that's one of my favorite topics because there are so many different ways to monetize your skills as a blockchain developer. And there are all these ways that you can leverage those technical skills to earn passive income, you know, not just get a job or build your own app. So today I'm gonna talk about a brand new way that's gonna launch this week. All right, so I'm super excited to talk about this because this is one that I've been keeping my eye on. All right, so before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So the project I wanna tell you about today is called Filecoin. So what is it? Well, it's a decentralized file storage system where you can earn passive income for participating in the network. So I wanna make this video for you today for lots of reasons. One, just to explain what Filecoin is. Uh, two, to explain how you can get involved. And number three is that Filecoin's launching their mainnet this week on October 15th. All right, and it's not a sponsored video or anything like that. I've just been watching this project for a long time, and this is gonna be a moment of truth to see you know, what the future of this project is. So I want you all to be able to follow along with this as I'm watching it in real time. So let's take a quick look at how Filecoin works. So let's first think about a blockchain. So Ethereum, for example, you know, blockchain is a peer-to-peer -peer network of nodes that all talk to one another. And in the case of Ethereum, each node is just a computer that stores a copy of all the code and all of the data on the blockchain. This is called just, you know, on-chain data or on-chain activity. The blockchain is responsible for doing that. So anytime I, you know, send cryptocurrency from my account to yours, for example, all that information is stored on a blockchain node and every single node in the network gets a copy of that information. That's what makes it secure. And the same is true anytime I interact with a smart contract, for example. So anytime that I use a decentralized application like Uniswap, for example, that talks to a smart contract, the blockchain is also responsible for handling that computation. And so that's how a blockchain works, but let's talk about how Filecoin specifically works, okay? So uh, there's one big problem with a blockchain like Ethereum, for example. You really wouldn't want to store any files on it, okay? Like you wouldn't want to upload an image or a video to the Ethereum blockchain because it's way too big. It would just be extremely expensive for you to put that information on chain. And so that's where Filecoin comes into play. So if you want to store images in a decentralized way, because it works in a very similar way where there are different nodes that make up the Filecoin network and they all share the responsibility of maintaining a redundant copy of all of the files on the Filecoin. And when you run the Filecoin network, you can earn that passive income reward with F Filecoin's own native cryptocurrency called Filecoin. And so this is what's launching this week on the main net, and I'm really excited to see what happens. And I'll show you here in a second how you can participate in running that network to start earning that passive income reward. And so you can earn passive income by participating in the Filecoin network by becoming a miner, okay? So just like you become a Bitcoin miner or an Ethereum miner, for example, you do the same thing with Filecoin. So basically you become one of these computers on the Filecoin network that participates in storing the files and also running the network and you earn file coins for doing that. And miners are compensated because people are paying to use the file coin network. So, you know, you can, you can it's a pay to play system, all right? And you can store at hyper competitive prices. And that's the whole point of Filecoin is it offers. So really quickly, let's talk about, you know, why would you use Filecoin at all? So Filecoin is part of the whole D-Web trend, all right, or Web 3.0. I just did a video on my channel talking about this. So go make sure you check that out if you haven't already. But basically, this is taking all parts of the Internet that we know now and decentralizing them or removing central control. So things like, you know, domain names, websites, file storage, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's basically taking this peer-to-peer -peer blockchain model, right, where, you know, different computers participate in running the network in a decentralized way and applying that to everything else. And that's what Filecoin is doing here. So what are the benefits of that? So one big reason is censorship resistance. Well, basically, it means that nobody else can take your file down, all right? Once you put it on the Filecoin network, it's like there forever. That means like no central party, no governments or anything like that. So like if you have a Filecoin network that's running globally, there's no jurisdiction that can say, hey, this file has to be taken down. Next is there's no single point of failure. So that kind of plays into the first point. Uh, maybe if there's legislation or something like that where, you know, maybe a website has to get taken down, then they'd have to basically take down the network. But it also means that the network has a lot more integrity than a single web server or a, you know, a network of web servers. 
And the last one is trustlessness, you know, and this is a, one of the big use cases of blockchain, like at all. And that basically means you don't have to like trust other people in this process. You know that once it files in the network, it's going to stay the same. And then also one of the biggest reasons to use Filecoin is because of this incentivized, you know, system that they've built. So Filecoin is a uh, incentive layer really for IPFS, which is just a decentralized file storage system. I've done lots of other tutorials on my channel about IPFS and how to use it in your own blockchain-based applications. I could talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video if you want some recommendations on how to get started with that today. Um, so just make sure you watch to the end to find that out. But Filecoin is built on top of that um, because, you know, basically IPFS, sorry, IPFS is that uh, protocol underneath that does the distributed file storage, but then Filecoin adds uh, the incentive layer on top of it for people to earn by participating in the network and gives all these enhanced benefits. All right, so now let's get into the details and how to earn passive income with Filecoin if you want to actually do this, all right? So like I said earlier, you become a miner on the Filecoin network in order to earn Filecoins, right? That's how you participate in the network. Um, so if you go to filecoin.io forward slash mine, you can click on the mine on testnet. So this is what I recommend doing if you're actually going to try this is run it on a testnet. Because, you know, if you watch this video today, then the mainnet launch hasn't happened yet. But even if it has, and if you're a developer, then I highly recommend doing this on the test network first before you try to move to mainnet. And so you'll see all the system requirements here. So you need to have either Mac or Linux. And so if you're on Windows, unfortunately, you can't follow these setup steps on your local computer. But, uh, you know, if you want to run your own web server or something like that to run our own Filecoin node, you could definitely do that. And so these are all the setup steps in order to do it. Uh, they've got all the system dependency setups, et cetera, et cetera. But the main way you do it is with the Lotus daemon. So basically, this is just a program that runs in the background of your computer. Uh, and what it'll do is it'll actually ch sync the chain, all right? And so you'll have to sync the entire Filecoin system before you can get started. And then once it's in sync, you'll just be running. Now, that being said... Um, if you want to do this, just note that the system requirements are pretty hefty. And you can see those at the top of the documentation here. All right, so here are the hardware requirements for miners. So if you're going to do this, you need at least eight plus cores of CPU, all right, 128 gigs of RAM. But if you're going to do it with the GPU, that's the actual recommendation. But one of the biggest things is actually the disk space. And this is <laughs> one of the biggest issues for being a miner at all. If you're going to be a miner on Ethereum or Bitcoin, for example, both those ledgers are pretty big. And it's the same for uh, Filecoin. And so they recommend at least one terabyte of disk space in order to store the entire ledger at this point in time. Because I mean, think about it. If you're going to run a, a Ethereum node, for example, and store all those transactions, that's just data about like who sent cryptocurrency around, like any computations that happened in smart contracts, their state. But if you're going to run, you know, a Filecoin node and store like videos and images, all that data is very big. And so it stands to reason that you need a lot more space in order to do that. All right. So if you want a quick comprehensive summary of everything that you need, then you can find that here in the hardware requirements. So the next question is, is this profitable? Even if you like, you know, bite the bullet and meet all these hardware requirements, can you actually make money doing this? Well, that depends on a lot of things. So that will first depend upon the mainnet launch that's happening this week. So that's one thing I'm definitely going to keep my eye on. All right. And then the other is actually going to be the price of Filecoin itself. So think about it. You know, you're, you're rewarded with Filecoins. And the profitability of this endeavor is going to depend somewhat on the price of this. So if the price of Filecoin tanks like crazy, then it's probably not going to be as profitable as if the price of Filecoin like doubles or triples or quadruples or whatever. And it's not financial advice. I have no idea what the price is going to do, but that's going to be a major factor. And the same is true for any other cryptocurrency mining endeavor, Bitcoin, Ethereum, anything. And so we'll wait and see what happens, right? And the other part of this is definitely how much it costs you to run a system like this. So, you know, like I said earlier, you could always rent a web server to run your own Filecoin node. And if you wanted to get started as a developer with a pretty low buy-in, you know, you could uh, try running this on a test network and see how much that server costs. Or, hey, you could even just go to the, uh, you know, requirements and the spec out a server and see what that would cost you to rent. And then, you know, try to project your earnings with Filecoin. That's one way you could calculate the profitability as well. And so you could track this as the mainnet launches and just watch the price does. But that'd be a good way to experiment. So it'll say you don't want to do that as a developer. You don't want to run your own Filecoin node. There's still a lot of ways to get involved in this project as a developer. So you can build apps with Filecoin. And Filecoin actually has their own tutorial on how you can build a uh, sample application with it. So, uh, you know, let's say you wanted to build your own, I don't know, like decentralized Dropbox, for example, then you can follow a tutorial like this that would give you an idea how to do that. So they walk you through the entire thing. 
Uh, they even have a video tutorial on how to do it, which is pretty cool. It's got everything with modern web technologies like Create React App, for example, uh, Docker. All right, so yeah, if you wanna check that out, uh, you can just follow these steps here. And if you want to learn how to build a full stack decentralized application that uses distributed file systems like IPFS, so not necessarily Filecoin, but the underlying technology IPFS, then I'm gonna release a video tutorial this week, all right, on how to build a decentralized Instagram clone where you can upload images to IPFS and integrate it into your own application. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out that video whenever it comes out. All right, so that's how you earn passive income with Filecoin. So so, you know, quick recap, this is a uh, brand new project that's launching this week. All right, so make sure you keep an eye out. I'm gonna be watching this, see what happens. You know, Filecoin is an incentivized uh, layer on top of IPFS. So it's a distributed file system. You're gonna earn Filecoins, a cryptocurrency, uh, for participating in the network, becoming a miner. You know, you've seen how to become a miner, how to set that up on your computer, how to play around with this, how to create your own apps with Filecoin. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm that really helps these videos out so that more people can find them and become blockchain developers. And also, you know, subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this, more blockchain tutorials that teach you how to become a highly paid blockchain developer. So if you want to get started on that journey today, you know, how can you do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. You know, by the time uh, this video comes out and then that next video on how to build a decentralized, uh, you know, image sharing site like Instagram comes out, it'll be there on my YouTube homepage. So you can follow that, you know, build your own tutorial app. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step or, hey, you know, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, then I can show you to master a blockchain step by step from start to finish so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, you know, build your own real world app. All right. Just head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.